Hey everybody, Bill Martins here. Happy Saturday. Hope it's been a great day for you. I got my hair cut this morning and then I pulled a bunch of weeds from around the house that I've been wanting to get to for a long time. And I did some video editing. So it's been a pretty busy, productive day. I was working on the Manitowoc Two Rivers drive through video, which last week I said I was gonna try to have up for this Monday. Not gonna happen. Just too much other stuff going on this week. I should have that up next week though. And I encourage you to check it out because it's, it's such a cool community. You go right past the uh, Manitowoc County Courthouse, which is beautiful, and then you go through the downtown area, and then you hug the Lake Michigan shoreline for a few miles, and then when you get to Two Rivers, two rivers you go through another downtown, which was kind of nice, and then that takes you out on Highway 42 through the north side of town. So that'll be coming next week, and uh, stay tuned for that. One of the reasons I wasn't able to get to that this week was because of a different video project I was working on, and that was the parasailing video. The wife and I went up to Door County, uh, was it last week? Yeah, early last week. And one of the things we did was go parasailing in Ephraim, which might be the most serene, picturesque community in all of Door County. It's about halfway between Sturgeon Bay and the tip of the peninsula. It's right on the Bay of Green Bay, and it's kind of built on a hillside. There's a couple of church steeples there. It's just, you'd think the designers of this town had that in mind right from the get-go, because it is just a great community. Uh, so parasailing, essentially, uh, you're strapped to a parachute. The parachute is attached to a boat. The boat takes off. The wind lifts the parachute up. You go up with it, and you just get these great views from wherever you are. So... This happened in the open waters of Green Bay. And if you watched the video, I posted the video uh, on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. The whole thing is on my YouTube channel. I, I had a few notations on the bottom that give you a little bit of an idea of what's going on, but I wanted to make this vlog entry uh, more detailed as to what was happening. So uh, let me just take a moment to describe that. So we went through this place called Wisconsin Water Wings and they're right in Ephraim, right across the street from Wilson's Restaurant, which is an iconic, iconic place. It's been there for like a million years. So you get in the boat, you got the life jacket on, and you're heading out towards, you know, past Peninsula State Park. You can see Eagle Bluff Lighthouse. And what they do is they strap you into your seat, which is sort of like you think of the, the swings that you used to ride on when you were a kid over at the playground, you know, sort of that flexible, it, there's no backrest to it, it's just the seat. So you're strapped into this thing seemingly 75 different ways. I mean, you've got straps going across your chest and between your legs. There is no way you're going to become separated from this seat. So that's on the way out there. And then when you get to the spot where you're actually going to do the parasailing, they take you to the back of the boat where there's sort of this platform about the size of a queen-size bed, I would guess. And the first thing they do is they hook you up. There's a cord, a cable, I should say, a line that runs from the back of the boat, and they attach that to you so that uh, you don't go flying off the boat too early. That's, that's not how you want that ride to go. So once you're secured to the boat, then they clip you to the parachute, and that feels like, you know, a whole another 75 uh, straps and cables to hook you up to that. And then as soon as that's done, then they disconnect you from the boat. So now you're just connected to the parachute and you're sitting on this platform. And then they give the boat the gas, it takes off, and up you go. It's like flying a kite, right? So uh, you've got the kite out, got a lot of string, you start running, the kite goes up, that's exactly what happens here. And it was kind of a bumpy ride. It was, it was a great day weather-wise, but there was a little bit of wind. And it wasn't terribly windy, but it was enough that, you know, you would have these sudden lifts all of a sudden, and then sudden lifts all of a sudden. Same thing, uh, you know, you, you would sink, you'd get jerked around left and right a little bit. I'm not a huge fan of that. I don't like amusement parks. I don't like roller coasters. I don't like rides that flip you around and spin you and whirl you around and all of that. So I didn't love that part of the ride, but it wasn't terrible. Uh, you know, at I, I, no point did I feel like it was unsafe. I just don't like that feeling of suddenly, you know, being kind of jerked around. 
but the views were incredible. You could see over Peninsula State Park, you could see some of the smaller islands, you could see Chambers Island out in the distance, and it was such a clear day, you just, you could see for miles and miles. You could see Fish Creek, you could look back at the at Ephraim, and it was really a lot of fun. We were 300 feet, 350 feet high, uh, and we were up there for probably a good 10, 12 minutes before they reeled us back in, and, your landing was kind of fun because you're you're coming in and they tell you they're trying to explain to you how you're supposed to land and you you come feet first and then go right to your butt right on the platform and that's what we did and then they hook you back up to the boat de-hook you from the parachute and then you go back and have a seat and enjoy the rest of the boat ride so that was that was a lot of fun and there was another couple who was on the boat with us it was a father and a and a daughter and they couldn't have been nicer people. They were they were fun to talk to, and they enjoyed them enjoyed themselves as well. And I went up there with the GoPro. I had it mounted to my forehead, and so the whole video that you're seeing was shot entirely with the GoPro. You're seeing it right from my vantage point. And if I could do it all over again, I probably would have shot it a little bit differently, since I would have a better idea of what to expect. And I should have held my shots a little bit longer. That's a rookie mistake. But if we ever do that again, the next video is going to be a lot better than this one. But I, I don't have too many complaints about how this one turned out. And I hope you got a chance to see it. If you hadn't, go back and watch it. It's only about four minutes long, and I think you're going to enjoy it. So um, let's see. What else is going on photography-wise? I haven't gotten out to do any shooting since we got back. i got to do some of that next week just to have some fresher material. And I'll probably just find some other places in Middleton where I haven't shot yet. So look for those. And again, next week, look for that Manitowoc Two Rivers Driving video. Uh, that's I'm really excited for that. I'm just I got to figure out a soundtrack for that. So if you have any ideas, leave a comment below, and and we'll see if it fits. Okay, well that's Saturday. We'll talk to you next time. Thanks for watching.